Hello, everyone. Now I'm going to go over my little trip I took on the te on the 8th of July, 2019, last summer. I remember I'd arrived in Vancouver. I was right here. At, the boat was docked in Falls Creek in Vancouver. And then I had some Katie Krogan friends um, that were down in Montague Harbor, which is follows track here through Poilier Pass. And Montague Harbor was right there uh, on Galliano Island. And I wanted to go down and see them. I spent two great days down there. They made some wonderful dinners for me. Um, it's this beautiful island. Of course, they have a beautiful boat because they also have a Katie Krogan 42. Just wonderfully nice people. And so I had a nice trip. The one issue is you'll see Poirier Pass here. Poirier Pass is it's it's narrow. Um, it's actually not that shallow, but you'll see it has this tremendous current going through it. See, the current gets up to almost seven knots, so you have to time it so you're going the right direction. And that's what I did. And in fact, when I went through it, we had a, I had a, a knot and a half push behind me. Dauntless was anchored right here in False Creek Anchorage. And I did do one thing here. See this little racetrack pattern? This is the track that day, Vancouver to Montague Harbor. And you see this little racetrack pattern there. I just wanted to con I just wanted to confirm my speed, so I did this little racetrack pattern first out. So I was indicating 5.5 knots uh, speed over ground and 5.7 knots speed through the water from the Maritron impeller. Um, I turned around, did a reciprocal course, and the numbers were 5.8 speed over ground, and and also five, and again 5.7 speed through water. And lastly, turning around again, uh, the numbers came out to be 5.8. I mean, five. The numbers turned out to be 5.5. This is what they were before, and 5.7. So. Averaging that, I mean, my actual my actual speed um, taken away current was 5.65 at 1400 RPMs, and in the Maritron was indicating 5.7. So I was really happy with that. And then when I stepped up the normal my normal cruising speed of 1600 RPMs, it indicated 6.4 6.4 knots and 6.5 on the Maritron on the speed through water which also is about exactly what I anticipated. Using my normal cruising speed, I use this 6.4, and that's at 1600. So that's what that little racetrack pattern was. So it was a six-hour trip from Vancouver down to Montague Harbor, again through Poilier Pass here, and here's Montague Harbor. And it was, just a, it was a wonderful trip. Galliano Island's a beautiful island, as I said, and I had a, a, a really beautiful time. Great time all around. It was just a simple trip because I was going to spend two nights down there and then come back to Vancouver um, on the 10th of July. And that's why I took those pictures of, the, of that dock as I'm coming back to Vancouver because on the following day, on the 11th of July, I was going to meet Larry. And Larry and I were going to go up together through the inside passage up to Ketchikan. So please just enjoy the pictures. I have a little music. It's relatively short. It's there, there and back. And after this, you'll see, we'll start showing the inside passage and the trip north of Vancouver. Thanks for watching. Please like, please subscribe.
And lastly, here's a video I made at the time coming back towards Vancouver. And it was foggy in the morning in Montague Harbor. But I didn't have to worry about the weather at all. I was so happy. You can, you can hear the elation in my voice. Thanks for watching. In paradise. I'm on the way back to Vancouver to pick up Larry. Oh, I love not having to worry about getting up and looking at the winds. I don't care what the winds do. I don't care what the rain does. I don't care about the fog. I just don't like those head seas. I will have no head seas here. Thank you very much.